In recent videos, we've been exploring how getting a handle on your ego frees up better leadership choices. I've been using the metaphor of a human onion to relate the idea that who we are at our core can be quite different to what appears in the outer layers of us. Last week, we celebrated the upside of ego, that you have strengths that are a, a product of the layers of protection you've developed. We also explored how strengths and weaknesses are two sides of the same coin. This week I want to go back into, back into the onion to connect to how strengths and weaknesses can be a useful access point for knowing something deeper about yourself. A great piece of thinking for doing that is via a model developed by Daniel Offman called Core Quadrants. The Core Quadrant model works like this. You have core qualities or innate strengths. Um, if you overplay those strengths, they can turn up as pitfalls. Pitfalls give us some clues about where our challenges are and therefore what are our development areas. So far, straightforward, pretty simple, but here's the genius. The fourth quadrant is called allergy. Too much of your challenge and your allergy gets triggered. Allergy reveals something deeper in you that reacts. It's kind of like where your buttons get pushed. The genius is to recognize pitfalls are the result of having allergies triggered. If you can understand your allergies at a deeper level, you have more capacity for managing them when they turn up in unhelpful behaviours. In leadership, it's perhaps how others experience you that you should be most interested in. How they experience you is their reality, and it's also how they will represent you to, to others. It could be that there is a big gap between your intention and their perception, and that it doesn't serve you or what you're trying to achieve. Here's an example. A client of mine received some difficult feedback from a 360 review. The mm -hmm. feedback from his team said they didn't feel included or consulted. The meaning they took from this was that he didn't seem to care about them or what they might have to contribute. The irony was that that couldn't have been further from the truth. He cares a great deal. When we explored it through the lens of core quadrants, this is what emerged. On the surface, he said that he was trying to protect his team from pressure and uncertainty uh, by taking that all on himself. His core quality was ability to absorb pressure. The pitfall was appearing closed off. His challenge was about openly sharing uh, and his allergy turned out to be around honest emotional expression. For this guy, getting into his onion about that vulnerability and where it came from was the key that unlocked more helpful choices in how he communicated with his team. Essentially, he needed to make friends with the vulnerability of not having all the answers. Being able to step into these conversations invited collaboration, possibility, ways forward, and better relationships. In respect of Offman's model, there is a lot more to it and the insights you can take from it. However, as a start point, why not think about a core quality you have and run it through this quadrant? If you need some help, direct message me.